you know, we'll see. We'll see here in the next day or two. But I'm not really, uh, you know, I'm not really worried about it at this at this point in time. Um, and and uh, you know, obviously, I haven't gotten all the information. I've been 20 minutes after the game, but we'll see how it develops. But I, again, I think uh, I, I think we'll see how it goes. How about just uh, even if he is okay, is there enough time now? I mean, if if this sets him back even a week or two for him well, to get ready? Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see how it plays. You know. Um, you know, obviously, more of the guys that are in camp come into the picture or come into play. Right. Some of those, uh, some of those other pitchers, but uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's not uh, let's not count them out just yet. What did he tell you to come after? Two I haven't even spoken to him. Really, told Roger. Know? Yeah, we talked. Roger now, actually, Roger saw it and said, "Hey, let's let's get him out of there." You know, he said, "There's nothing, nothing good could happen uh, if we keep you know trying to push him along." So we made that decision. Because he kind of told you that. Somewhat bothered him over the last couple of weeks. Well, you know what he does? He comes in and says it's, it's you know, I, or the, you get the, the reports from the trainers, and then you know we, you end up talking to him a little bit. But he, you know, he says you know it's something I can get through it and see, and we let him to a certain point and and, and see where he's at. So um, again, I don't think it's something that we need to, uh, to panic about, and, uh, and and we'll take it a day at a time with him. Anything on Menlo? No? I have not got anything from Menlo. No. I know he went. To, I think he had a. Exam this afternoon, but I have not got any reports on.